That was Richard Ahiagba speaking on Prime Morning on Joy Prime TV. Now, also on the show was founding president of Imani Africa, Franklin Kujo, who described the NPP's refusal to debate former president Mahama on infrastructure after the latter challenged them to do so as ill-advised. Uh, well, first of all, I do not understand the locals uh, for which or uh, within which or uh, on which the three persons have spoken, except to say that they are actually making it look as if the president does not have a mind of his own. The president, I know, is a very great debater. I mean, he's a smart man. I think it's important that in a competitive political space like the one we have, uh, debates are useful, and I think the NDC's call for a debate goes beyond the infrastructure one. And I do not think that the MPP would say that, I mean, the, some of the Arsenal's who have been speaking on behalf of the president would just put to us in the smart and say, we are not coming. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's a bit self-defeated. Look, the government has done some very good work and it's important in the area of the economy if i were the one speaking for the mpp this is what i'm going to say well everything rises and falls with the economy now let's look at let's even be gradually accept the money scale for instance by the time you were living in office as ndc you had challenges with the economy the economy did not do well it did under 40 percent or so but Meet them going to an election before the COVID struck. You have done, MPP have done 54.36% on the money scale. If I were a debater, I'll focus on the ingredients that made that happen rather than run away from a debate that is yet to be had. I think it's a self defeatist mechanism. And, uh, and they were consulting me for which they have to pay, by the way. Now, the employee strategies for which they can get into that debate and do better and do well. Mm, so it's mm. a good way to have in a competitive political space like the one mm. we have. And as usual, um, Imani and multimedia and maybe any other media space that they deem creditable enough right. to band together do this debate. I think it's in the interest of the country.